We're in San Ignacio Lagoon here. We look at gray whales in uh, this area, and we're looking at this issue of whether they feed here and how much they eat here. And we're discovering since the last El Nino, last time that, that there was uh, warm water here, um, we lost a lot of whales. A lot of them died. And so we're asking the question, why? And when we start digging, we find that the Bering Sea, the productivity in the Bering Sea, has dropped off. And particularly during that El Nino, it really dropped off. So the whales starved, they didn't get enough to eat. So when they got back down here, having not had enough to eat, they were starving. So suddenly we're seeing whales all over Baja feeding, doing things that we're just not used to seeing. We're not used to seeing whales feeding. And that's got us all thinking, oh, wait a minute now, what are they doing? If they're starving from the Bering Sea and they're trying to make up what they didn't get in the Bering Sea during the summer, then that puts a lot of pressure on the local ecosystem down here that wasn't there before. So we're going to get a new balance somehow. We're going to get a new uh, level of exploitation of the, of the food source, which has repercussions for all of the other fishes. It has repercussions for the fisheries that are down here. A lot of the local people depend on uh, the local um, ecosystem. They depend on those fisheries. And in the end, what we're hoping to do is to, to build a really clear picture of what it is that whales do in San Ignacio and then we can use that information to feed back into the whole of the North Pacific, our little piece of it. And with our colleagues, we can then piece together what's really going on with gray whales and then what's really going on with the North Pacific.